yes students now exercise 3.2 of ncert so first question is given to us find the values of other five trigonometric functions we have to find out values of other five trigonometric functions first cos x is given and minus 1 upon 2 so it is given to us the value of cos x is minus 1 upon 2 and x lies in third quadrant. Now very clearly we can see from here that this negative sign is because of only this quadrant. So by drawing the right triangle we know that the value of the ratio of cos is based upon hypotenuse. It will be 1, this side will be 2. If we find out perpendicular we find out 2 square 4 minus 1 3 then it will be root 3. So we can very easily from here we can write down all other ratios. Other ratios are sin x, cosec x, sec x, tan x and cot x. So here we will first of all we will find out sin x. Sin will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse then it will be root 3 upon 2. Cosec is reciprocal of sin. 2 upon root 3 sec is reciprocal of cos 2 upon 1 or just we can say sim simply 2 tan x will be perpendicular upon base root 3 upon 1 cot x is reciprocal of 10 1 upon root 3 now x lies in third quadrant according to quadrant system by ASTC formula we know that in first all positive second sin cosec third tan cot and fourth cos and sec x is in third quadrant therefore tan and cot will be positive rest of all negative then sin x will be negative cos sec will be negative sec will be negative tan and cot these two ratios will be positive okay come to question number two question number two is sin x is equals to three upon five and x lies in second quadrant this time x is in second quadrant so by right triangle method we can find out it will be 3 it will be 5 then 25 minus 9 16 then base will be 4 we can write down all other ratios cos x 5 upon 3 cos x 4 upon 5 sec x 5 upon 4 tan x 3 upon 4 and cot x 4 upon 3 now we will use the sign plus minus as x lies in second quadrant and in second quadrant sin and cosec are positive rest of all negative sin and cosec are positive cos sec tan and cot these ratios will be negative okay come to question number three what is given to us in question number three cot x is equals to three upon four this time cot x is equals to three upon four and x lies in third quadrant x is in third quadrant so by right, drawing the right triangle what do we get cot as uh, cot is uh, the reciprocal of 10 perpendicular upon which it will be based upon perpendicular then 3 4 this side will be 16 plus 9 25 5 perpendicular will be 5 then we can write down easily from this right triangle sin x is equals to 4 upon 5 cos x x is equals to 5 upon 4 10x is equals to 4 upon 3, cos x is equals to 3 upon 5, and sec x is equals to 5 upon 3. Now we will use the sign. As we know, x lies in third quadrant, and according to ASTC formula, in third quadrant, 10 and cot are positive. The rest of all will be negative, sign negative, cos x negative, cos negative, and sec negative. Yes, coming to question number 4. It is given sec x is equals to 13 over 5 and x lies in fourth quadrant okay then by drawing the right triangle what we get sec will be perpendicular upon base then it will be 13 5 then this side perpendicular um, it will be hypotenuse upon base then it will be 12 means 169 minus 25 144 minus if we subtract we will get 114 and uh, root of 114 is 12 so we can write down easily all other remaining ratios 
सो साइन एक्स ट्वेल्व अपॉन थर्टीन कॉस एक एक्स थर्टीन अपॉन ट्वेल्व कॉस एक्स फाइव अपॉन थर्टीन टेन एक्स ट्वेल्व अपॉन फाइव कॉट एक्स फाइव अपॉन ट्वेल्व नाउ वी विल यूज द साइन एज वी नो एक्स लाइज इन फोर्थ क्वारेंट एंड इन फोर्थ क्वारेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू ए एस टी सी फॉर्मूला ओनली कॉस एंड सेक आर पॉजिटिव रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल नेगेटिव सेक पॉजिटिव साइन नेगेटिव कॉस एक नेगेटिव कॉस विल पॉजिटिव टेन नेगेटिव एंड कॉट नेगेटिव कमिंग टू फिफ्थ पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इट इज गिवन टू अस टेन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फाइव बाई ट्वेल्व एंड एक्स लाइज इन सेकेंड क्वारेंट दिस टाइम सो बाई ड्रॉइंग द राइट ट्राइंगल वट वी गेट टेन इज परपेंडिकुलर अपॉन बेस तो फाइव पॉइंट ट्वेल्व इट विल वन फोर्टी फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव वन सिक्सटी नाइन एंड इट विल बी थर्टीन सो बाई राइडिंग ऑल द अदर ट्रिग्नोमेटिक रेशियोज वी गेट साइन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाई थर्टीन कॉसैक एक्स विल बी थर्टीन बाई फाइव कॉट एक्स विल बी ट्वेल्व बाई फाइव कॉस एक्स विल बी ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन एंड सेक एक्स विल बी थर्टीन बाई ट्वेल्व एंड एज एक्स लाइज इन सेकेंड क्वारेंट एंड इन द सेकेंड क्वारेंट ओनली साइन एंड कॉसैक will be positive rest of all negative sin and cos will be positive rest of all ratios will be negative okay now from question number 6 to question number 10 what we have to do we have to find out the values of trigonometric functions so first question number 6 it is what is given it is given to us sin 765 degree what we can write down sin we can write it down as 2 into 360 2 into 360 means 720. How much remaining? 45 degrees remaining. So in this way, we can write it down. Sine 2 into 2 pi plus theta means plus 45. You can write down at 45. And as we know, sine 2 n pi plus theta is equals to sine theta. Then using this identity in this one, we get sine 45 degree. And value of sine 45 is 1 upon root 2. this will be our answer yes question number 7 in question number 7 it is given to us cosec minus 1410 degree what we can do we know that cosec minus theta is equals to minus cosec theta by using this identity what we can write down here we can write down minus cosec 1410 now we will write down this 1410 in multiple of 360 then we can write down minus cosec uh, 1410 we can multiply 360 by 4 we get 1440 then 4 into 360 minus 30 degree then it will be 2n pi plus minus theta form then we know that cosec 2n pi minus theta is equals to minus cosec theta by using this identity minus sign is here and one minus sign is already here we get cosec 30 degree so 2 will be the answer coming to next question question number 8 look what is question number 8 it is 10 19 pi by 3 Ten nineteen pi by three. We can write down it ten three six eighteen. Then six pi plus pi by three. As we know, ten two n pi plus theta is equals to ten theta. Therefore, what it becomes ten pi by three means ten sixty. Value of ten sixty is root three. Therefore, our answer is root three. Coming to question number nine. What is question number nine? It is साइन माइनस इलेवन पाई बाई थ्री वी नो दैट साइन माइनस थेटा इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस साइन थेटा सो बाई यूजिंग दिस आइडेंटिटी वाट वी गेट माइनस साइन इलेवन पाई बाई थ्री वी कैन राइट डाउन इज एज माइनस साइन इलेवन पाई बाई थ्री वी कैन राइट डाउन फोर पाई माइनस पाई बाई थ्री इट विल बी ऑफ द फॉर्म साइन टू एन पाई माइनस थेटा What is sine two n pi minus theta minus sine theta? 
then 1 minus sin is already here, it will become plus, then sin pi by 3 means sin 60, the value will be root 3 upon 2, it will be our answer. Coming to question number last and 10, it is cot minus 15 pi by 4, first of all we will write down minus cot 15 pi by 4, so by dividing 15 by 4 we get 4 for the 16, then we can write it down as cot 4 pi minus pi by 4 and by using the same formula 2n pi minus theta cot 2n pi minus theta is minus cot theta it will become minus minus plus cot pi by 4 value of cot 45 is 1 this will be our answer so please do subscribe this channel study online and get the benefit of all exercises of ncrt and many other short short tricks of solving the mathematical questions. Thank you.